Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today, basically, I want to discuss a little bit about the safety in China and answer the question, is it safe for solo travelers in China? And all I can say is absolutely yes. Do not be scared to go to China. This is going to be a short video. I don't have a lot to say. I spent six months there. 95% of the time I was with a local man in China. We traveled to so many places in Eastern China, so many tourist areas in Eastern China, had no problems. But here's the thing. Number one, doesn't matter what country you go to, there are bad people, I promise. Every country that you go to, bad people are there, bad people can find you, and bad people can do bad things to you, whether it's harm you or steal from you or, I don't know, take one of your kidneys, I have no idea. Bad things can happen in any country, including the country that you are in right now. Number two, so many bad people go to the tourist areas. As of right now, I've been to about 23 or 24 different countries, and I can tell you with 100% certainty, the majority of the bad people, the scammers, are going to go to the tourist area. Now this means the tourist area where, where foreigners go to and visit and where local people who are from that country go as a tourist as well, doesn't matter. The bad people know where the vulnerable and rich people are and it's always in the tourist area. And so that is the biggest concentration of scams and bad people, I can promise you that. And that's every country, not just China. Now, I, I don't want to scare you from going to the tourist areas. Should you go? Yes. Will you have fun? Most likely. Will these bad people harm you or steal from you? Probably not. Why? Because you're going to be aware that it's possible. The key to someone taking from you or cheating you or taking one of your kidneys is not being aware that it's possible. And when you're aware of someone pickpocketing you, when you're aware of someone cheating you out of money, and when you're aware that someone may put stuff in your drink to make you fall over and steal your kidney, when you're aware of the possibilities, the chances of these things happening to you are very slim because you're prepared, mentally aware that these things can happen and you just kind of are aware of what's around you. That's it, that's with every country, not just China. However, here's the weird thing. Out of 23 or 24 countries that I've been to, I can say that in China, I felt more safe here than any other country I've been to, and I'm not joking. I don't know what it is. My guess is that A, generally people are very kind, very warm, very friendly, very welcoming, very helpful. I don't know, everybody seemed to be helpful and friendly. And number two, cameras are everywhere. Now I didn't really show this in any of my videos, but I can tell you, if I stand right here, if I was in China, but I'm not, uh, if I stand in China anywhere, I don't care if I'm in a small village, I don't care if I'm in a big city, it doesn't matter, I can look around and I can count maybe 20 different cameras, and I'm not joking. If I walk over here away from these 20 cameras that I see right now, I'll find 20 new cameras looking at me or looking around me. It's insane, like it is un real how they manage and store all of this data per second in this country is mind-boggling to me no idea but cameras are everywhere i talked to the local man and asked him is this one of the reasons why chinese people would not harm another person because there's so many cameras or or do people not rob banks do people not steal do people not commit crimes because there are so many cameras and he says no not at all he says most people aren't even aware that cameras are everywhere even though they're everywhere. It's crazy. He says, if people want to do something bad, they'll do something bad. And cameras aren't even part of the decision making process, which to me is weird. I guess as a as a as a Westerner, I would say, oh, wow, I'm not going to rob a bank because 100 cameras are looking at me and it's impossible to win. Right. So in a way, the cameras are a good thing. So if something crazy does happen, man, you have proof that can find these people pretty quick. You have evidence recorded and they can find the location <laughs> Believe me, there's a million cameras and they will follow this person back home even if he goes to a village, it's insane. So the camera thing, I'm not sure, but cameras are everywhere. But generally, I traveled in the city at night, I traveled in the city during the day, I traveled alone, I traveled with the local man, and we even went to small villages. I mean, small villages, absolutely nothing bad happened. But just because nothing bad happened doesn't mean that it can't happen, but we felt I felt completely safe. There was never a moment where tensions were high or aggression was shown. Never, ever, never once. So all I can say is from my perspective, six months of being in China, I felt more safe in this country than I felt in other countries, and I'm not joking. What was the reason behind that? I'm not sure, but that's how I felt. So all I can say is don't feel 
scared to travel in China. Are there more dangerous places than others? Yeah, probably. I'm referring to Eastern China. Maybe Western China is a completely different thing. Northern China, I have no idea. All I can talk about is kind of Eastern China within 400, 500 kilometers of Shenzhen and Hong Kong, that kind of radius. So that's how I feel about China. I felt it was completely safe and don't be nervous to travel in the country alone. One big recommendation for you is be sure to watch my other video about the tips before you go to China. This is very important. There's some things that you may not be aware of. Make sure you watch that video because it will help you before you get there. And if I can recommend anything to you right now in terms of safety, I have not made this video, but make sure you go on YouTube and search for scams, China scams. This is so important because there are different things in, that happen in China that you may not be aware of and you want to be aware of them. So make sure you watch that and make sure you watch the other video in regards to tips about traveling in China because it will help. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for you on this. Thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.